So what actually is the difference between virtual machines and containers? Historically, as server processing power and capacity increased, bare metal applications couldn't fully utilize the newfound abundance of resources. This led to the development of virtual machines, which were designed to run software on top of physical servers, emulating specific hardware systems to optimize resource utilizations. VMs run on a hypervisor, which is a software layer enabling multiple VMs to operate on a single physical host. Hypervisors can be classified as type one, bare metal, meaning it runs directly on the hardware, or type two, hosted, meaning that it runs on an existing operating system. Each VM contains a complete operating system, commonly referred to as the guest OS, the necessary binaries and libraries, as well as the application code itself. This setup results in a high resource usage as each VM requires its own OS kernel and associated overhead. One of the many benefits of VMs is that they provide strong isolation since each VM operates independently with its own OS. This isolation extends to security and resource management. However, one downside of VMs is that each VM includes a separate operating system image, which adds overhead in memory and storage footprint. This overhead increases complexity across all stages of the software development cycle from development right through to production. On the other hand, a container is a lightweight, portable and soft sufficient software package that includes everything needed to run the application including the code, the runtime, the libraries, and the system tools. Containers avoid the overhead drawbacks of VMs by running on a container engine, for example, Docker or Kubernetes, that operates on the host's OS. As a result, containers share the host operating system kernel, eliminating the need for separate operating system instances for each container, which massively reduces memory and CPU overhead. Containers maintain isolation from each other by using namespaces and control groups to manage resources and security. And one of the many benefits of containers is they are exceptionally lightweight and are typically only megabytes in size and only take a few seconds to start compared to gigabytes and minutes for a VM. However, one of the downsides of containers is the security. Because containers share the host operating system kernel, a security vulnerability in the kernel can potentially affect all containers running on the host. And so to recap, virtual machines and containers are both virtualization technologies that allow you to run multiple isolated applications or systems on a single physical machine. A virtual machine is a software emulation of a physical computer that runs on an operating system, the guest OS, and applications just like a physical computer. It operates on a host machine and is managed by a hypervisor, which allocates the host's resources to each VM. VMs are ideal for running multiple operating systems, supporting legacy applications, and providing strong isolation and security. Container is a lightweight, portable, and self-sufficient software package that includes everything needed to run the application, so the code, the runtime, the libraries, and the system tools. Containers are ideal for implementing microservices architectures, enhancing DevOps and CI CD workflows, and building cloud-native applications. I hope this was a clear explanation explanation of the differences between VMs and containers. If you want more in detail technical solutions, make sure to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out techprep.app if you want to see the most up-to-date technical interview questions and solutions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.